As many of you guys know, this week has not been an easy week for Julian and I. He's not here right now. But when I'm having a really hard time, I'd say one of my favorite outlets is to just love my animals. <laughs> I feel like I just need to take my love out on my sun ad. As you can see behind me, this is his cage, his setup. It's a little bit overdue for a cleaning. I not only wanted to clean his cage, I wanted to just give it a little love, a little makeover. I know a lot of you have been wanting me to make one of those massive popsicle stick houses like on Vanilla Ham. Him. I think that would take me like a month. I'm interested in doing it. I just haven't sat down and done it yet. So this isn't gonna be a popsicle stick house. I would still like to do that in the future. But I wanna do like all the cool stuff that you see on YouTube, like a, a nice backdrop for him, maybe change the theme around a little bit. If you're not here for this stuff, I totally understand and I'll see you next week. So forgive me if it's not the most fun and amazing video in the whole world. I know some of you are interested because you love hamsters as much as I do. Usually we never wake our hamster up and I can't shoot this at four in the morning when he's awake so I will eventually have to wake him up. The fun thing about hamsters is if you just change around their cage a little bit they're like what the fuck is this? Like blows their mind. It's very <gasps> exciting. So step one in cleaning Ad's cage is um, give your dogs the dog toys you got for them in the pet store because you can't help yourself. But you also don't want them to get jealous. Sorry this is gonna be very weird the whole time pretty much. Basically the first thing that I do is I take out all the big stuff and if any stuff needs to get washed Washed, I'll take it to the sink and wash it. When I take his tunnel out, that's where Ad is, so I'm gonna feel bad. There he is. Somebody knows something's going on. What's stuck on you, bud? What is this? You got stuffing all over you. Hi, bud. I'm gonna take you out in a second, but you can stay in there for now. I don't even want to see what's in your tunnel because you hoard all your little belongings in there. It's okay, I'm gonna save some of your bedding for your next house, okay? This is why we don't clean your cage more than we need to, bud, because it's stressful, huh? Oh my God, look at all this food in here, Ed. I'm gonna get like a, a pan so I can scoop this. All right, here you go. Now I got a scoop. Look out! He's trying to dig himself a new little nest. He wants to go back to bed. I think I'm gonna take little baby Ad out and put him in his other cage, like his old cage. Come here, bud. I know. I'm sorry, honey. I know it's really stressful, huh? I'll be right back. I let the dog back out because Carmen was screaming. I'm trying to do this as fast as I can so you can get back in here at least. Oh my god! There's a big bag. So I use Aspen. Like a lot of aspen, and then I put all the like soft care fresh stuff on top of it. Just come out! <laughs> we trying to make a rainforest! Hurry up! <laughs> there he is! Alright, I'm gonna try and work around you. Wow, is that fun? So I got a bunch of stuff, and I'm trying to figure out what my plan is. Because I don't have one yet. So that stuff that was in the right-hand side before is actually soft granule bedding, which Ad really likes. It looks like this. So part of the reason why I'm doing this makeover is because when the dogs see Ad, they get very excited. So part of my plan is to put on like a, a curtain type thing for the front so that when he wakes up and we're not gonna like take him out right away, we can put the curtain on there so the dogs stop barking. Hey baby munchkin. So usually one of the first things that I do is figure out where little baby Ad's tunnel's gonna go. This is one of his favorite things in the whole world. Sort of up and down almost, like this way, like around that way. But, oh sorry honey, but I'm gonna fill in this stuff and see if I can get it to stay like that. I'm by no means a hamster expert, but I learn a lot from people on YouTube. The coconut fiber and that stuff I learned from a channel called Hopping Hammy, who literally did like a rainforest design. And I just thought it was so cute. He's like burying himself, he's so excited. I know, yeah. I've been waiting for my house. So I was thinking of something like this, like where these can stick out, but we can still put some stuff in the corner. Hi. But he really likes the, the soft granule to dig in. It's really fun. Ooh. Yeah, hi honey. We'll see if you choose to make the tunnel your nest again. Because sometimes you like to nest in your tunnel and sometimes you like your house, huh? We're gonna do some brown first. <laughs> Cause I have the most of it. Oh yeah, that's the soft stuff, huh, baby Ed? What has brought you out? Is it soft things? Excuse me. Wow, you're so handsome. 
So I actually got Ad a new water bottle at someone's suggestion because he did have a plastic one before. I got him a glass water bottle, but I do need to get a new piece of Velcro so I can stick it on the side there. There it is. That's new shiny little glass. No! Okay, this is new water bottle. With some industrial strain Velcro. Now I'm gonna add some more rainforest colors into Ad's cage so you can really just be transported. This is like, it looks like a, a thing that you put water or food in, like for a snake or a reptile, but I'm gonna fill it with some stuff for him to roll around in. I got him a new log and also this. You have water out if you're thirsty. Are you thirst? Do you have the thirst? So rainforesty. Oh, he likes his new water bottle. That's fun, huh? Hi, Andy. Oh, it's getting nice and soft in here, huh? Prefer soft things. I'm aware that this is like so super overkill. But if you think this is extra, just go look at the other channels on YouTube. I promise you. This is really not that bad. Ooh, camo. This looks very rainforesty, huh? It's gonna be thick enough for you to dig. So we gotta put your wheel in here so I can sit flat on the ground. <laughs> I forgot about that, fuck. That's what my guy is waiting for. Okay, be careful, I'm still putting it in here. Excuse you. <laughs> be careful, just wait a second. I know you're very excited. How's that? Ooh, there he goes. Is that like running in a rainforest or what? It's only been like five minutes and you're covered in stuff. 10 out of 10 excited. So there's his beach and tunnel, which he is thoroughly <laughs> enjoying. And then the rest, which it's not very rainforesty, but you know what? We're trying! So I'm gonna put some coconut substrate in there. He's gonna, that's his extra sand bath that he really likes. And then that little rock, I sort of like buried in here. So it does have like a top entrance and made him like a little hideaway. Cause he loves to sneak up against the wall and like get in there. And then I love when we're sitting in the living room and you can see him hang out in there and like do little ad stuff. And then a log. And then I did leave his uh, house and that's just a bird ladder. But ooh, somebody likes that spot. You know what it's not about? You. He's Having so much fun already it's like so rewarding you just like you barely do anything and he's like having the best fucking time just a little bit of his old bedding put some out so he can have it and sort of choose where to make his nest smells like him you having such a good time oh god he's so cute why do i love him so much so in this cabinet we got some food treats and then this is the sand that I like to use. It's called Tiny Friends Farm. This boy loves his sand bath. Oh, there he is! <laughs> this is the loose coconut substrate. Obviously, you wouldn't like fill your hamster cage with this or anything, but I have read since it's like a fun, loose texture, it's like fun for them to have a little bath of it, you know? Oh, it smells like reptile. Oh, it's so soft. Oh, that's a fun texture. Oh, he went in his house. Starting to feel a little more comfortable, huh? You know, it's very stressful when you get a new house. Oh, I don't think that's where the door is. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> what is this boy doing? He's doing it again. Ed! I told you I had a surprise for you. So I put this, that's also like a reptile log. It's basically a road to nowhere, but don't tell him that. Oh yeah, that's the coconut substrate. Do you like that? Mm. <laughs> I think I like sand better. The boy loves his sand bath. Very fun, huh? Oh, it's like so happy. Oh, someone is very excited. Wow, get it all in there, bud. Make sure you take it into bed with you. Oh my god, why is he like this? He's just putting it all in his mouth. Oh, I just love him. Why is he so wonderful? Oh, there he goes. All right, let's get going on the outside. I bought this. I couldn't find any wrapping paper with anything other than just like pink and glitter. I found this wood looking, it's like, it says bulletin board paper. So what I'm gonna do is try and cut it and then just tape it to the back, the outside, so that it looks like wood in there. We literally built this like entertainment center. They sell them at pet stores. They're specifically for like fish tanks. Like this is a, a fish tank. It was a Saturday where it's like so nice out and we're just inside stressed over this piece of furniture that we're building for our hamster. I hope I can do this without moving the whole thing because I don't think that I can do it without knocking the whole thing over. So I'm just gonna like guess. I don't know how y'all do it. All right, whatever. So I'm just gonna cut it here in a roll. It's a 
piece of paper, who cares? We gotta get it back there without it looking like ass. This takes a while, you know, like doing this whole thing, redoing his cage. It's just like so therapeutic. There's such a big payoff. Like you see him be like visibly excited. It's just, I don't know, I love doing this, man. It's so fun. Here we go. Oh, you gonna be so classy with this wood, boy. Oh my God, it's working. I feel like I've found my calling and it's putting wrapping paper behind an aquarium because I just nailed that on the first try. It looks like real wood. No one can even tell. Are you fucking kidding me? That took like two seconds. I didn't even move the cage. It's like so close to the wall and I nailed it. I'm good at stuff. My idea for the curtain, I literally bought these like dowels, these wooden dowels. And I was like trying to think of a way to fasten them on here, like some tiny shower curtain. And I was like, that is ridiculous. <laughs> you know what we should do, Jenna, with your brain <laughs> is just buy a piece of Beautiful. Look at this. It's like black and white galaxy fabric and I'm just gonna stick a big piece of Velcro on here so we can like rip it on and rip it off. And I think it's gonna look classy and lovely and beautiful. This is a way better idea than a tiny hamster shower curtain. I don't know what I was thinking. Oh, better do this straight. Look at that. That took me two seconds. I'm gonna have to cut off this ugly edge cause it ugly. I don't wanna measure it. I just wanna cut. Here. That's the grab and pray method. It's really efficient. So I did stick on the Velcro, but then I realized like, I'm dumb. This is gonna come off. This is like a spandexy fabric. So I just ran it through my sewing machine one time to keep it together for when we pull it on and off because I'm an idiot. Look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. I haven't really looked too much, but I have never seen someone make a curtain for their hamster cage. This is a real DIY hamster curtain. You know what I'm saying? I can't be the only person that has a hamster and dogs that like get excited by the hamster. So if you're one of those people, I just created a solution for you. I just have one thing left for my son. This man needs just a little bit of light. Oh, this takes batteries? Oh no. No, I fucked up. I mean, we're in it this far, so let's just put it on there. This is a home makeover and Ad deserves it. Wow. All right, I'm gonna take off the tripod so you can cage tour. So this is what it looks like with the curtain on. Can't see Ad. What you can't see can't hurt you guys. We have beautiful lights and then noisily take off our hamster curtain. Just sort of just let it hang. That's where the batteries are for the light fucking batteries. We have a custom wood paneling that I slaved over for hours. And a beautiful rainforest themed cage. Rainforest. I mean, it's not as great as some of them on YouTube, but it's pretty beautiful. I really want like a popsicle house or like a second floor for him to like have more space to like move upwards, you know? But this is sort of what we're working with until I make him a house. I think it's pretty enjoyable. Oh yeah, I need one more thing. Just a nice sprinkling of toilet paper because this is what Ad likes to actually nest with. So here's Ad's cage makeover. I know it's not the craziest makeover ever, but it's a little bit and I'm very excited about it. I think it looks beautiful. And now we can help prevent Samets from Sameting themselves by closing Ad's curtain. <laughs> well, yeah, I hope you're not too, too upset if Ad doesn't come back out. I don't think he's going to. I think he called it a night once he got all that food in his pouch, you know? He was like, I'm ready to go to bed, fam. <laughs> he had a very stressful afternoon getting his house changed, so we'll let him sleep, but I'll keep you updated. I'll keep you updated on the coconut, how he likes that, and how the curtain works in terms of the dogs, because I know there have to be people out there that also have dogs that bark when they see the hamster. But I know this wasn't the most exciting video, but my soul feels much better. I think it came out really nice. And hopefully when Julian comes home later today, this will bring him a little bit of joy, you know, because everyone likes seeing a beautiful rainforest themed hamster cake. <laughs> But yeah, that's really it. I really appreciate sometimes I just need to make regular videos that are just decorating a hamster cage because I needed to do this anyways and it really served a lot of purposes for me. I feel much better and make sure you subscribe to my channel. I put out a video on Wednesday slash Thursday. But yeah, I'll see you guys next week. Bye.